not. And we need your help with this. Now, I will tell you, there are members of this body who would like to see the Internet um, monitored as, as a utility. I am not one of those. I, I believe that that would be the worst thing we could do. I believe it would stifle innovation. I, I, I don't think you can legislate morality, and I don't want to try to do that. But we need a commitment from you that these things that can be controlled like this, that you will help us and that you'll work with law enforcement to, to help us with this. Look, you love America. I know that. We all know that. We need your help here. We don't, I don't want Congress to have to act. You, you want to see a mess? You let the federal government get into this. You'll see a mess, I, I assure you. Gentlemen. Please, we, we need your help with this, and I just need that commitment. Can I get that commitment? Congressman, yes, we take this very seriously. That's a big part of the reason over all these content issues, why by the end of this year we're going to have more than 20,000 people working on security and content review. And we need to build more tools, too. I Thank you very Gentlemen's much. Time's expired. Chair recognizes Mr. Duncan for uh, four minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Usually I'm last, um, but today I think we have one behind me that came in late. Um, Mr. Zuckerberg, I want to... Only by two minutes did he come in late. <laughs> I want to thank you for uh, all the work you've done. And uh, I want to let you know that... Um, I've been on Facebook since 2007 and uh, started as a state legislator, used Facebook to communicate with my constituents, and it has been an invaluable tool for me um, in communicating. We can actually do in real time multiple issues as we deal with them in, here in Congress, answer questions. It's almost like a town hall in real time. I also want to tell you that your staff here of the Governmental Affairs Office, Chris Herndon and others, uh, do a fabulous job in keeping us informed. Uh, so I want to thank you for that. Um, before this hearing, when we heard about it, <clears throat> we asked our constituents and our friends on Facebook, uh, what would they want me to ask you? And the main uh, response was addressing the perceived and in many instances confirmed bias and viewpoint discrimination against Christians and conservatives on your platform. Today, listening to this, I think the two main issues are user privacy, privacy and censorship. Um, the Constitution of the United States and the First Amendment says, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion nor prohibiting the free exercise thereof, nor will it abridge the freedom of speech, of the press, uh, the right of the people to assemble, or address the Congress for address of grievances. So petition the Congress for address of grievances. Um, I've got a copy of the Constitution I want to give you uh, at the end of this hearing. The reason I say all that, this is maybe a rhetorical question, but why not have a community standard for free speech and free exercise of religion that is simply a mirror of the First Amendment with algorithms that are viewed, um, that are, have a viewpoint that is neutral? Why not do that? Well, Congressman, I think that we can all agree that certain content like terrorist propaganda should have no place on our network. And the First Amendment, my understanding of it, is that that kind of speech is, is allowed in the world. I just don't think that it is the kind of thing that we want to allow to spread on the internet. So once you get into that, you're, you're already, you're deciding that you, you take this value of that you care about safety and that we don't want uh, people to be able to spread information that could cause uh, harm. Uh, and, and I think that, that it, our general responsibility is to, um, is to allow the broadest spectrum of free expression as we can. And, and I, appreciate, why... I appreciate that answer. You're right about propaganda uh, and other issues there. Uh, and I believe the Constitution generally applies to government and says that, that Congress shall make no law respecting, talks about religion, and then we won't abridge the freedom of speech or the press. But the standard has been applied to private businesses, whether those are newspapers or other media platform. And I would argue that social media has now become a media platform to be considered in a lot of ways the same as other press. So I think it probably does apply and will apply. Um, what will you do? Let me ask you this. What will you do to restore the First Amendment rights of Facebook users and ensure that all users are treated equally? regardless of whether they are conservative, moderate, liberal, or whatnot? Well, Congressman, I think that we, we make a number of mistakes in content review today that I don't think um, only focus on one political persuasion. And I think it's unfortunate that when those happen, people think that we're focused on them. And it happens 
um, in different political groups. I mean, it's, we, we have but in the essence of time, conservatives are the ones that raise the, the uh, awareness that their content has been pulled. I don't see the same awareness being raised by liberal organizations, liberal candidates, uh, or liberal policy uh, statements. So I think, and I think you've been made aware of this over the last two days, probably need to go back and make sure that those things are treated equal. Uh, and I would appreciate you do that. Again, I appreciate the platform. I appreciate the work you do.